Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Aaron Sibley. I am a singer, songwriter, and music producer. And I am here to do some reactions to the latest Eurovision songs of 2024. So since I last did a video, I was actually part of a selection myself in San Marino, so it was very, very hectic and super fun. And the song came out yesterday, so. Go take a listen. <laughs> and since I last did a video, the odds have all changed. I decided that today I'm just gonna go ahead and listen to the number one spot on the odds. So I'm gonna go ahead and listen to Croatia's entry. So the song from Croatia is, okay, let's start with the artist. They're called Baby Lasagna, cute, love that. Although I would never order a Baby Lasagna, give me a big slice. And the song is called Rim Tim Taggy Dim. From the title, I'm like, okay, like is that, in their language. It sounds very like nursery rhymey just because of the way that it all rhymes. So maybe it's kind of like a bit of a play on words, who knows. Um, so let's take a listen. So this is Rim Tim Taggy Dim. Okay. Yeah, I'm just trying to take in the actual lyrics <laughs> because the song is very like, has a very cool like repeated du -du 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 -du. So it's sort of like talking about him leaving. It's kind of giving me like Jack and the Beanstalks, you know, like he's leaving the cow. The thing is, it's like, this sort of song is very heavy and I love that, but also his attitude on stage, I'm like, he's really giving it. <laughs> I really want to know what it means. Does it mean anything? Maybe it's just like, something to sing. Oh, please meow back. I like that lyric. So the song's talking about leaving. He's leaving somewhere, he's not coming back. Obviously the song is very heavy and the staging is very interesting, but I bet you there's like a deeper meaning here. This is very like, you can definitely see this going down a tree live on stage. You know, you can see this already in so many clubs. People dancing away to this kind of song. I think it's very smart the way that they've kept the structure so simple. They've got a repeated and then the chorus here is also a very, very simple melody. Wow. Oh, it's the kitties. Wow. <laughs> Okay, he gave that 100%. <laughs> Whew, okay, I feel a bit out of energy from watching that. I can't imagine what he must be thinking. Um, I'm actually out of breath, oh my God. Yeah, this song was, was, I can see this doing really well. I see why this is high in the odds. I mean, at the moment it's number one and I totally get that. Um, we saw a song kind of like this do extremely well last year, which was Finland. Um, and a song like this where it has like such high energy, what word should I use? <laughs> like really interesting staging, quite quirky. Um, you know, married to a very repetitive but catchy song. That's always gonna go down well because it doesn't require the audience to kind of learn too much. You know, they're hooked straight away because it's an easy song to hook somebody into. To be honest, a song like this for me is a bit of a, breath of fresh air because there is a lot of like contemporary pop songs which i've said before is a sort of genre of music in this competition that i am very fond of um but when you have a song that's so out there and and quite quirky but done to such a great level of quality you know you can really appreciate that and the thing is is people forget sometimes that this is not just a song competition it's also a hugely performance-based competition. You can't think of the song without thinking about the performance. With a song like this, you have both elements. You know, you have a very catchy melody, whether that's the kind of almost 
droney element of the verse or the catchy melody line in the chorus. You have both. Um, but also you have a really captivating stage performance with somebody that's, you know, you're really interested in what they're doing. You may not understand what the song's about at first. <laughs> you may not understand what they're doing, but you're like, this is cool. And yeah, I can see this doing so well. I mean, I just really want to listen to this. Actually, no, I don't want to listen to it again. I want to watch it again because this is definitely one of those where it doesn't go just with the audio. You need to watch it as well to really appreciate like what the song has to offer. So for the performance of the semi-finals and let's be honest, the finals, I can't see them doing like too much different. They had lots of flashing lights. They had a really cool, almost neon LED screen behind them. They had some funky outfits. Um, they had smoke for goodness sake. I feel like it's going to be a very similar stage performance in the actual show, maybe just like a little bit more elevated, but I can't really see them changing much because this works so well for the song. Uh, of course they're gonna qualify, like, no doubt about it, I can definitely see them qualifying. Looking at what type of song won last year, I think that actually does bode well for them this year because it's always nice for different types of songs, different genres to win different years. And so if this one was to win, obviously it's such a difference from Tattoo, so that would be quite nice to have a bit more diversity in genres winning. And I mean, has Croatia won before? I don't think it has, right? Let me Google it. <laughs> I'm gonna be spreading false information. <gasps> to date, the best placing for Croatia was fourth, which was in 1996. <laughs> My birthday. And 99. Wow, so that's exciting. I love it when a country is gonna win that hasn't won before, which was so devastating about 2020 because there was like several countries that hadn't won before that could have won. <sighs> anyway, I refuse to live in the past. Good luck Croatia, I really, I don't have like much to say about the song. I feel like from what I've witnessed, I'm actually just really excited to see this in the final. Like I really want to just see it play out live. And I think the audience is just going to absolutely love this. I really do. So good luck Croatia. I'm looking forward to seeing it. I have no notes. <laughs> Well, thanks so much guys for tuning into this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, do make sure to hit the like sub button. Um, and of course, hit the subscribe button. Um, if you'd like to listen to any of my music, you can of course do so, all the links are below. And I just released a song called Human, uh, so please stream away. And actually, I wrote it with a songwriter too, who is Croatian, so big up Max Cinnamon. Okay, until next time guys, bye bye.